their recording partnership. But in the 80s, it's all very different. Two of Britain's biggest heavy metal bands, Motorhead and Girls School, have just teamed up to make a new single. It's called Please Don't Touch, and it's due out on February the 14th. The two bands have toured together before, but it's the first time they've worked together in the studios. So I asked Motorhead's Phil Taylor and Kim McAuliffe from Girls School why they decided to join forces. It seemed like a good idea. We did a tour when our Obica album came out, tour with Girls School. Yeah, they picked us for their support band, we, we you see. We picked them, yes. Oh, yeah. They haven't got rid of us ever since. No. That's We've been uh, <laughs> firm friends ever no, since. No, what do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we admire Girls School oh, a great deal. I mean, Motorhead are I idols, you know. I mean, they're like, they're like sort of like we the Robert Redford, <laughs> the Paul Newman. This is like a mutual admiration. Heavy metal, you know. Phil, it's great to see you here because, in fact, um, you've made a very swift recovery from a rather nasty accident. Can you tell us about that? Yes, this is true. I made a remarkable recovery from breaking my neck, which is not as serious as everyone thought, or even I thought at the time. <clears throat> I just had uh, three hairline fractures on the back of my neck. I think it's on the vertebrae, the knobbly bits that stick out, you know. And I had to have a collar on for four weeks and then take it easy for a couple of weeks after that. But uh, I'm completely back to normal now. And uh, that is doing? one of the reasons why I'm not actually playing on this single that we're here to talk about. <laughs> well, you're not playing on that, Phil, but you are, Kim. Tell us about the, the A-side, um, Please Don't Touch. <laughs> well, what it is, it's uh, an old Johnny Kidd and the Pirates number. We all seem to like, and we thought it would be really good fun to do together. If I know that track, it's a long way from uh, the stuff we might expect. Oh, yeah, which is why we think it was a good thing to do that, because everybody would probably expect the same usual thing from us. But we thought just because it was going to be a one-off thing, we might as well do something different. It's just good fun. It's just a good fun record. Now, you've done a tour together. Is this going to be a one-off as far as uh, recording is concerned? Oh, yeah. Well, you yeah. never know. It's just, well, no, you never know. <laughs> we might be doing a concert together later on in the year, but we can't really say when or where. The next thing we'll be doing, I think, is going out to uh, Europe to do some gigs. We had to cancel when I broke my neck. You know, if, if you're a good band and people like you, the word gets around. And a uh, natural progression is that you get bigger audiences. Are girls' school finding that as well? Oh yeah, definitely. We're finding that uh, every gig we play we seem to have sort of more and more people coming along and hopefully more and more people enjoying it. And that's what we're all about, I think, is just uh, going out having a good time. <laughs> The first time on British Radio for Please Don't Touch, the new single from the combined forces of Motorhead and Girls School. And just before we head back to Peter and the Charts, can I just say that Girls School are the guests tonight on the Richard Skinner Show on Radio 1. Plug, plug, Peter, the Charts, please. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, the Charts actually in about 15 minutes, because right now at 5.45, it's five brand new 45, starting off with the lady who is the guest on Round Table. And uh, didn't she look...